This video is going to be a how-to video on how to paint your dash using Duplicolor's vinyl and fabric paint, which is awesome. I use it all the time. The headliner above me has already been painted using it. Um, the carpet and most of the interior has already been done, and you wanted to see how-to videos on that too. So I figured I'd just go ahead and make you one how-to video on how to paint your dash using Duplicolor's vinyl and fabric paint. So, I hope you enjoy this how-to video and we getting ready to take the gauges of this. Okay, you wanna first take off anything you don't want painted. And then the other stuff that you can't get off, you can mask off with painter's tape. 3M makes a good brand of it. Um, but you can use whatever kind you got. But first thing before all this, you want to take some air pressure, uh, you know, an air tank, and blow nozzle every bit of this dust out you can. But before we do that, we're going to wipe it out, and we're going to scuff the dash and use a good grade wax and grease remover, which is coming up in just a second. You can use Duplicolor's Grease and Wax Remover to prep your dash. Just take you a scuff pad, like this one, from 3M, you can pick it up at any auto parts store, pour you some wax and grease remover in a bowl, dip your SOS pad in it, and scrub and scuff the dash. Everywhere you want paint to stick, be sure to scrub it and clean here as good as you can and we'll nook and cranny. Okay, after you pretty much get the dash scuffed down with your wax and grease remover and everything, you need to take an air nozzle and a blower and blow every bit of loose dirt and everything out of it. Then take the wax and grease remover, wipe the dash down again you can use an air compressor, but if you ain't got one, you can go to Walmart's or an electronic store anywhere. It should sell air in a can. You can clean computers, fans, and everything. That stuff will also work great for this. That is, if you don't want to plug a compressor in, and use this real fancy tool, which I am getting ready to do. And then, the next step will be wipe it down again. Mask off anything you don't want paint on, and then pretty much you get ready to paint. But let's go blow some dust off this dash and get ready. Okay, we got a dash prepped and ready to be the first coat of Duplicolor's vinyl and fabric sprayed on it. So. As you can see, it looks pretty clean. And it's going to be a big difference. So, let's go ahead and take this stuff down. Because we don't want no overspray on this. That way we can hang these back up and they won't get dirty on us. If you got a Kamal, that is awesome. All kinds of comments on that air freshener. You can pick one up at uh, on eBay. You can actually pick the Disco Ball and the B up on eBay if y'all interested in that. But uh, let's get back to this dash. Okay, our next step is to spray the dash with the color, vinyl and fabric paint. You can pick this up at any auto parts store. My favorite store is Vance, um, here in Hazard. I know everybody does. Great people. Um, but you want to make sure your dash is prepped and all that stuff before we get to this stage. Um, you want to shake the can for 60 seconds or at least 3 minutes to make sure it's mixed good. Well, you want to mask off. All the stuff you don't want painted or get paint on, you know, 
the window hank mask off because I usually take a magazine and shove down and spray as I go. Um, I'm going to show you techniques of laying the paint on the way you want to. Another thing is they sell this in all different colors. Well, if you get glossy black in this, it will look fake. Uh, it looks painted. This is a flat black. And that looks the most factory as you can get. You can put armor all right on top of this and everything. But if you use glossy black, to me personally, you can tell somebody, you know, painted it and whatnot. Um, but flat black goes on and it gives just that factory look that anybody would want, you know. So if you go on black, go flat black. So here we go. Let's get some painting. Okay, the first thing you want to do is shake the cam, which I explained just a few seconds ago. The window, you will want to mask your window. Me, I'm going to have my buddy hold a piece of paper and follow me along the top of the dash when I paint. That's the best way for me to do it. It saves on tape and saves time. Um, when you put your first coat on, you want light coats. I mean, not no heavy coats, light coats. You want something for the other coats to bond to. I mean, you want light coats in them. Okay, we're going to continue on this side. Of just light coats. I'm going to stop right here. I still got mask gears, but we get that here in a second. I'm going to go in this inside of here with some, and then I'm going to get ready and do a top of this dash, and I will be here in a second showing you a second coat. Okay, we got the second and third coat done so far, and it's still got a little bit of discoloration just a tiny bit but you gotta think this has been one and two and three light coats of uh, paint put on it now about every 10 minutes you want to post a light coat of paint over top of it maybe 15 but 10 to 15 minutes you want to recoat it and you want to do mist coats you want to keep misting in so you keep the grain of the plastic and you just want to keep misting it till you get the color you looking for. But it's turning out great. A couple more coats and it should be done. And it's going to look great. Okay, the dash is done. It took uh, one can to move pretty much get the dash to look in the way I wanted it to. As you can see in the photo, it's black now. It looks awesome. It's turned out great. There's a little bit of overspray on the windshield, but, you know, it's easy got off. You can take a laser blade or anything like that to get it off. Um, I ended up taking the heat control just out instead of masking it off. It was easier, simpler done. Um... But, take a look at the dash. This is the finished dash. It's turned out great. I'm probably going to pull out the gauges and switch them to electronic gauge setup. Because of the motor that's now in the claw. It's all electronic. Don't know yet. Just playing with some ideas, but pretty much... Like I said, this turned out great. You can ask for a better dash. So, I hope you guys enjoy. And like and subscribe to the channel for more episodes. 